The past couple of weeks have been extremely busy and extremely productive. We've been really getting down to business, and as you can see behind me, we have the Vegas up for the roof, and the roof will be completely done in about three to four days from now. So I'm going to take you around and show you uh, pretty much everything that we've done since the footings and the bond beam leading up to getting the Vegas up on the roof. What we're looking at here is the rebar sticking out of the um, interior greenhouse wall footing. Um, that's going, and this rebar is going to accept a form around it and then a 7.5 inch high stem pour that is going to be uh, the footing for the majority of the interior greenhouse wall framing aside from the uh, door box which you can see right here which is uh, mounted directly to the, uh, the bottom footing. Okay, framing. So this is our interior greenhouse vertical glass wall and this is the, the framing for that. Uh, what you're looking at here is actually in the bathroom so we have framed up to a giant uh, square window box here. Our window boxes have uh, rabbit cuts uh, in the corners of our uh, of our 2x6s here to allow us to put a piece of glass into the framing really nicely and then on our plating here and up at the header at the top we're gonna have uh, some 1x as a stop for that window here so the stop over here and here is the rabbit cut and then the 1x here will be the stop for the the double pane window um, on the bottom and the top so it's pretty standard framing I mean it's actually completely standard framing uh, it's done all with 2x6 and uh, our window boxes uh, right here and here and our door box and two more window boxes on the end they're actually all prefabricated um, we frame those um, off to the side we get them perfectly square which is extremely important because obviously your doors and your windows have to fit in a perfectly square box or else they're not going to sit right um, so we do those out over there and then we bring them over here lay them in and then we brace them so we got form stakes in the back over in inside the living area uh, with these two by fours bracing them so we get them plumb with a level with a four foot level we get them plumb this way and plumb this way and uh, and then we brace them like that uh, to hold them in place and then what these braces actually we got three of these on the front face here these braces are to hold the whole wall once it was complete uh, completely square uh, when we put the Vegas on um, the Vegas are really heavy and they can kind of shift the wall around so these are just here temporarily um, now that we have the Vegas up once they're actually set which is going to be tomorrow uh, we could take these braces off as you've seen in a previous video this right here is our stem pour uh, all of our window boxes go on top of the stem pour um, as you, if you can see back here our door our entryway into the living space actually sits right on top of the footing um, but our window boxes are raised up so we have, that's why we have our stem pour here uh, so on top of that we have our Trex plating now we use Trex because it never rots um, it does have a higher carbon footprint than uh, even pressure treated wood there's plastic in there uh, but the fact that it never rots over the long term will actually kind of gives it a lower carbon footprint than even even uh, regular wood because it never has to be ripped out it never has to be replaced it's going to be there for hundreds of years even uh, so as you can see here we've had to shim up our window boxes a little bit you'll see when we when I talk about the framing the shimming is necessary because you need the top of your framing to all be completely level and you know honestly I poured this stem little uh, wall here myself and it was really rushed I mixed all the concrete and ran it over so I really didn't have the time to make it absolutely perfect what you're looking at now is our load beam uh, that is constructed of five two by eights laminated together they are uh, glued together with liquid nails or a similar construction adhesive and they're also screwed and nailed together and once that once that glue sets that is just one solid uh, bearing load bearing beam uh, it's actually stronger than getting a solid uh, timber beam uh, the reason for that is because a solid timber beam will have uh, weaknesses in its grain 
and over time those weak areas they could possibly sag but a beam that's constructed of these uh, 16 foot long 2 by 10s laminated together the grain is going every which direction so since and you have overlapping joints and you have overlapping grain so that makes that beam incredibly strong much stronger than a solid timber beam the beam is constructed with a 2 by 8 plate on the bottom that sits on top of our interior vertical frame wall uh, and then you have your five laminated uh, two by tens on top of that and then on top of that you have two more two by eight plates on top of one another and that all that together makes for an incredibly strong uh, load-bearing beam that also distributes the weight from the roof extremely evenly over the frame wall. Stay tuned for our next video when we describe the construction of the roof. Until then.